Lindley especially has been spending quite a bit of time on Modus for people not to know. Uh, you know, we acquired Modus a few months ago, and so far we did we've done I think quite a bit of front facing new work on like the dashboard and incorporating that and integrating with the track and all that all that kind of stuff. But in terms of the actual physics model and the Modus results that we spit out, we've we've still been you know almost the moment we got Modus, we started collecting data and trying to analyze it against our own mocap lab and all that stuff. Similar to how similar to what we did in our first Modus validation study which I think was published, I have it up here, was published in um, January 2019. And and obviously that, that data we started collecting years ago, I think you guys actually started collect, collected most of it in 2017. Um, but yeah, I think, I think <laughs> on the, I think, yeah, the authors on that paper were myself, Lindley, for some of the data collection way back, like I said, and maybe some of the processing uh Bodie, yeah. Joe Marsh, uh Michael O'Connell, and uh John O'Sheffy. Shout out my initial John research O'Sheffy. uh RD partner. Um yeah, I, I love I love Sheffy's full name because I think it sounds so fancy, dude. John he O'Sheffy, sounds like some yeah. some English gentleman in like the eighteen yeah. hundreds, like and we got John O'Sheffy here oh, on the yeah. on the paper. <laughs> Just instantly boosts our credibility. But and, anyways, really quickly I'll, I'll, I'll let you Dr. John O'Sheffy. I'll let you intro more in a second, Lindley. But uh, yeah, we started collecting data right away, ran into some issues, obviously just because of COVID, shutting down the gym, whatever, uh, you know, having data, wanting our, our data to match up with what's spat out on the app versus like what we run internally from the Modus code that was handed over. So we kind of ran another data collection process almost as soon as we got back in gym. Lindley uh, processed that data and got the matching mocap metrics, which he'll talk about in a second. And then I did some of the statistical methods and analysis. And then we'll talk about kind of that, where we're at and what we're going to do going forward. So uh, if you want to kind of intro the the biomech part of it, Lindley. Yeah, yeah, just real quickly. So when we got that back, we kind of wanted to do more five ounce uh, validation um, just with the regular baseball. And then there are, there's like a, we have reason to believe that when you're throwing with a weighted ball, um, on with a modus sensor that the model doesn't uh, necessarily represent like actual changes in, in stress or at least match up what we what we see in the motion capture lab. So we want to look at that and also intent. So, uh, but because of COVID, obviously we we it was a little bit slower, so we haven't been able or it's like data collection has been slow, so we haven't been able to do all that yet. But just finished up the five ounce stuff, had to reprocess, um, had to create basically like matching variables which we had for sh- shoulder rotation and for elbow load so we use just the elbow varus moment to compare it to modus torque we use maximum external rotation to compare to modus uh, shoulder rotation and then arm slot um, is a little bit trickier because there's less like there's less there's not as much of a standard for what arm slot actually uh like is quantified yeah. Um, so, and the way that Modus does it, it's a global position basically of the forearm. They call it forearm elevation. So it's like how high, uh, like the angle between the forearm and the, the ground. So if the wrist is higher than the elbow, that's a positive uh, forearm elevation. Um, so basically that angle, if zero degrees is when your forearm is like straight flat in any like rotation, it's just parallel with the ground. So we had to basically calculate a global position of, of the forearm segment as opposed to as opposed to like elbow flexion angle, shoulder abduction angle, lateral trunk tilt. Um, so which we compared as well, but, um, so we had to do that and then, um, calculate also, uh, the arm speed is also calculated as like a global forearm rotational velocity. So we had to include those two things in the process or in our like pipeline, uh, I'll put them, put them together in a paired like data frame and then uh, ship them to the caravan, which is how most of like the study analyses go. It's like we collect it, process what we need to get it into uh, like a, ho- hopefully one like centralized data frame and get it to caravan for like statistical analysis. 